So at the end of the last video last week on Friday, you guys would have seen this. Oh, what did we do now? Fast forward to Monday, I have the McCluskey International 516 Trommel Screener standing here behind me. So we did end up getting a little bit of rain over the weekend, which is actually interesting because I had a lot of people telling me that these machines perform really well with wet material. But it's a pretty interesting machine. Here on this end, you have the rejects coming out. This is the main trommel here. It gets loaded through that top part there and the good stuff comes off the end. He's bringing it over to me. See that? That is super cool. Now those brushes, they aren't ran by motors. They are self-propelled by just the trommel itself turning. And the purpose of those brushes, for you guys that don't know trommels, they basically have brushes on them. And when that's turning, those brushes are piercing the holes in the trommel so that it doesn't clog up. I just got back to the yard here and Al was like, hey, there's a big power screen box for you. So I want to do a big shout out to power screen. They sent us, check out this stuff. And if you follow us on Instagram, I just said, we're going to do a giveaway and give away some of this stuff because it's just so much stuff. It's unbelievable. I'm so grateful for it. They got us a bunch of power screen high-vis vests, about there's four in there. They gave me a ceramic um, model of a Warrior 1800. I'll be putting this in my office. That's beautiful. They gave us coffee mugs, booklets, uh, about five winter jackets, coffee mugs. And then the best part of all, a nice little bottle of Irish whiskey, Bushmills Irish whiskey. Definitely gonna be trying some of that in a custom power screen whiskey glass. The blades on the loader bucket are completely done and all wired. This one's new. We replaced this and then it was just sitting weird. So I bit the bullet and I said, whatever. I think it was like two grand for the remaining one of them. So we got all new black cat blades. So that's what we're going to do now. Acetylene torch off these nuts, put the new ones on. Let's get to it. Okay, today's Tuesday. Behind me is Corey and the shovel. Um, and what we're doing is we're digging a basement for a new home. I've been kind of lacking showing you guys the other side of the business that is a huge part of the business, which is actually, you know, Corey and the other massive crew of guys that are out doing septics, building homes, digging basements, laneways, culverts, all that good stuff. So this is the footprint of the house. Corey's spreading four inch. We're importing four inch. We got two trucks on it right now. And he's putting this down and then he goes in and he packs it all up. And then right today after we're done this, we're moving over to a new one down the road in another little neighboring town. So the residential construction is actually pretty busy, which is really good. I said we left the job and we were going back down, but uh, we need to switch the cutting edge on that 170 before, before it heads out to the next job. So I just went, 
located the nuts that I needed, nuts and bolts, they're inch and a half. And I'm hoping that the quick cut will be able to get rid of the bolts and take them off uh, and not have to bring down torches because we're out of acetylene as of today. So that's what we're doing. We're going all the way back down to the Robin to replace the cutting edge. Let's do it. Okay, awesome, we made it here. I'll get Corey to lift up the bucket and this is the cutting edge that we're taking off here. So this is the actual factory bucket and this is the cutting edge. It's super close, um, so we need to get this flipped. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna flip it and get her done. Here's Andrew, our new truck driver. He's behind us here, dumping a load of four inch. Oh shit, Corey, fire. Fire! Oh fuck. Get that on camera. <laughs> we got fucking fire! Oh my god. I thought <laughs> I smelled something. <laughs> oh shit, Corey, fire. We're good. We're good. And then I'll pop this into the middle, tighten it, and then you guys should be able to let go. No. Okay, today's Wednesday. We have now put eight hours on this machine. All right, so we're running it up here. Al's just dumping. I wanna show you guys a really cool feature about this, which is normally Al has this remote in the loader with him, and we can control everything on this with this remote. So he just dumped through some rocks up there. Let's press and hold, and the grizzly bars will dump. You want to move your stacker, move it. All we're going to do is press and hold, move to the right. It moves to the right. You want to press and hold, move to the left, back where it was. That's where it was. You want to go up with it, it'll go up. I don't want to go up too high because then it starts spitting. And then these buttons down here, they move that. I don't want to mess with that because it is in a good spot. But you can do everything, control it from this device. That is super, super cool. What an awesome unit, McCluskey 516, woo! All right, I am currently right now inside the trommel of the 516. Now this is a three quarter inch, so it's actually 9.3 millimeter screen. I did some research last night, you know at the beginning of the video, I didn't know what size it was. Like I said, I've never ran a trommel in my life. Uh, I know Al has. We really enjoyed the machine. It was a really, really nice machine. As far as production goes, I think we narrowed it down to off the end of the stacker. That's kind of the end that you normally judge on as far as yardage. We were doing about 80 to 90 yards an hour, cubic yards. Just my personal opinion, I think that the trommel makes a different type of soil. It's still a really nice soil and it actually takes really heavy materials. Like you can put really heavy clay wet material through this and it actually comes out really nice. I do like the fact that this is built in Canada, in Ontario, the same province that we actually live in and have our business in. But if you can hear a loader going, that's actually Al. He's taking out the ramp from the McCluskey today. And what power screen is doing, because you guys saw my last video, there was granulars getting through the power screen screen. So power screen is going to be putting an eight millimeter harp, straight harp, not flex mats, on the Warrior 1800 for us. I'm not saying that I made a final decision on what we want to do yet. I just know that the McCluskey's leaving today and the power screen's staying. I know a lot of people in the comments were really wanting me to try Trommel. I did it, I liked it, I think it's an awesome machine. Is it the machine for us? I'm not totally sure yet. I wanna run this power screen with different strings on it and see what the soil comes out like. Is it really upsets me that these big corporations, you know, across the board, whether it be Cat, Komatsu, Western Star, Power Screen, McCluskey, whatever it may be, it's hard because these guys don't want people to say numbers, right? And I feel like if they started with a base price that they could tell everybody this is what this machine's worth and then work out your special deals with your customers from there. Because I saw some comments on the last video of some people saying, oh, that Warrior 1800 is $500,000. And it's not. It's not a half a million dollar machine. It's close and it is really, really expensive, but I find that it makes it hard when there's no transparency in price for people that want to get into the industry and, and make money screening dirt, 
it's hard for you guys to get a real sense of that if you don't know the prices. This one is cheaper than the Warrior 1800, I will tell you that. Again, I don't want to talk numbers with you. I will be in the talks with Power Screen. Um, if we end up taking it on a monthly rental, hopefully I can tell you guys kind of the monthly rental price. But again, I don't, I'm not here to disturb people or make people upset, so I want to get full approval from them first. This has been the McCluskey Trommel video. Awesome machine, super interesting, lots of cool technology in it. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. I really appreciate it. I love showing you guys this stuff and I love that you're interested in it. Leave all your comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll just make sure that you guys catch us on the next one. Take care guys. All right, we're actually going to fold this up real quick here. Got Andrew here. He's going to, he's ran these before. Uh, at other companies that he's worked at. So he's gonna fold this up for us. I wanna do a shout out to uh, Jackson and Haley. I want you guys to know that your dad's an incredibly hard worker and he's up there right now folding this up for us. And of course, I didn't forget about you guys, the True Patriots channel that watch the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those True Patriots, I want you guys to comment down below, trommel it up. Why trommel it up? Well, we were running this trommel for the past two days, spinning dirt, tumbling dirt, and it worked awesome. So if you guys watched the entire video to the very end, comment down below, trommel it up. I appreciate you guys, as always, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.